I'm standing next to the oldest organism on the planet. For those who are new here, we're Jillian and Jeremy, a digital nomad couple who spend most of our time traveling internationally. After spending a week in Yosemite National Park, we drove an hour and a half southeast to Bishop, California, home to the world's oldest living organism, the Methuselah tree, an ancient bristlecone pine estimated to be over 5,000 years old. But here's the thing. The whereabouts of the Methuselah tree are kept a secret in hopes to keep people away and avoid any damage to the tree or its natural habitat. In this video, we make our way to the White Mountains of Inyo Forest and search for the mysterious Methuselah tree to hopefully witness the oldest living organism on the planet. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Wish us luck. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back. back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining us again. Today, we're gonna do something a little different for you guys. We are on our way to go find the oldest living tree in the world. Over 5,000 years old. It's the oldest organism on the planet. Yes, so Methuselah is the oldest living character in the Bible and this tree is named after Methuselah. I've heard about this tree for so long Milky Way shots I've seen. I've always wanted to go there. It's a big mystery because... The National Park Service, all you can find are pictures of the dead Methuselah. They won't show you the real one. Aren't they sneaky? Shulman, the doctor that found Methuselah back in the 50s, he's pictured with it. So there are pictures of the original Methuselah tree. So we're gonna go see if we can find it. Enough internet clues. I think we'll be able to piece it together, yeah. but it's definitely a challenge. So let's go on this treasure hunt and enjoy the scenery as we get to the White Mountains. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. And this road is so narrow and windy and bumpy that it's gonna take us Whoa. 50 minutes to go 10 miles. We're going way up a mountain. Yeah, we are. I mean, my ears are popping. Yeah. We are in Yo National Forest. By the way, that is not Methuselah. Good job, U.S. Department of Agriculture, trying to fool us. Here we are. Do you know it dropped 20 degrees from where we left the hotel to here? 20 it's degrees, cold. and I feel it. I feel it. This is the homie that found Methuselah, that did the studies and did the core samples. You probably noticed that we we have completely different clothes on. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this cold. It's Woo. cold, about 45 degrees-ish. Oh. Here is what the map looks like. There's a four and a half mile loop if you'd like to in order to get to where the Methuselah tree is supposedly. And where Methuselah is, it's only about two and a half miles from this side. So we're gonna backtrack instead in order to go a shorter way to get there. Yep make this a quick hike, right? This is the trail. And Methuselah is between 17 and 18. Man, look at that babe, snow laying over there. I can feel how it's yeah. still there. It feels like <laughs> it's cold. Why do you think they're trying to tell us to go back? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Look at that thing. Keep it going. That is so cool. Ancient bristlecone pine, and that one's still alive. See, that's how you can tell they're alive, is they still have green pine needles on it. Even though some of their bark has been stripped, the ones that are alive still have green needles. 
And some of those needles, like the one on Methuselah, can be tens of thousands of years old. I think what I learned was that the needles themselves can be up to 30 years old before they replenish themselves. That's what I said. Okay. I said up to 30 years old. But these trees are just crazy looking. Like I've never seen any trees like this before. Oh yeah, we are not gonna have a good time walking back up this no. in, the dark. in the dark. But we've done these dark hikes before. This is pretty much an advance, I would say. Any kind of hike that you could fall off and really impale yourself <laughs> is considered high. High risk. Down there. Whee! Whew. Careful, babe. I got it. Look at that, like, above us. Those, whew, those things hanging off the cliff. That's just awesome. The Methuselahs grow in dolomite, which is a version of limestone. And the ground is very, very alkaline, which makes the conditions for growing these trees, coupled with the altitude being so high up in the White Mountains, perfect for the really hardy Methuselah tree. Not a lot, a lot of other things could survive out here. This does, and it seems like, how could it? This dolomite is just, it's not very nutrient rich. So for anything to grow here is crazy. The annual growth of the Methuselah tree is 0.25 centimeters, which is tiny, but it speaks to how it preserves itself based on this really harsh environment. Slow growth. To only slowly grow, and that's why they're not as big as some of the other trees around the area. Another one of the telling signs about how old a tree is, is its exposed roots. Over time, the roots become exposed by wind and rain and dolomite just breaks away and it shows you just how old these things are. The oldest trees are the shortest trees. They're growing real slow and saving all their resources. Isn't it hard to believe that these were around before the pyramids? Before the pyramids, like what? That's crazy. To be in this old of an environment, oh my gosh. It's like yeah. you don't dare touch one. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, these things are just something else. This whole landscape is something else. The number one cause of the ancient bristlecone pine dying is gravity. Ultimately, the roots become so heavy and exposed out of the ground, the tree topples over and that's what causes it to die. And it could be because of soil changes, environmental changes, weather. And there's scientist speculation that the Methuselah tree will potentially die this way one day also. So we're lucky to see it while it still exists firmly the good, in the ground. Yeah, the good thing about Methuselah is that it's supposedly a small skinny tree. So at this point it's not so heavy and will just fall over like that. So hopefully yeah. it's it's got some more years on it. Let's check it out. Let's go see, we're almost there. There's more examples of trees toppled over from erosion and heavy roots getting blown over look at that root is bigger than ninja way bigger man jeez look at this the kid in me screams treehouse wouldn't this be cool to have this incorporated as part of your house or a tree house i mean this is amazing and all the cool fun shapes i see like a slide right here man and there's all these cool hiding spots <laughs> Not quite invisible. <laughs> Number 19. So we've got two more to go. We're coming up to where the Methuselah is supposed to be. Yeah. Oh yeah, lucky number 17. Oh, here we are. 17. So 
That means Methuselah is right around here somewhere. It's supposed to be close by, and it reminds me of that scene from Indiana Jones when they have to pick out the Holy Grail. Uh, which one is it? We must choose, but choose wisely. Everyone says this Methuselah tree is supposed to be grandiose and big and wonderful, but really it's not. It's humble and meek and just like that Holy Grail being the carpenter's cup. We gotta see if we can find the humble tree. The here. humble tree, let's see. Let's see what we can find. This is just, this is just insane. All these spikes. What do you think, baby? I have a guess. Yeah? Since we crafted all of these tips from bits and pieces on the internet, one of those told me that the root structure around the tree was protected by logs so that we think the National Forest Service is keeping people away from touching it. And that, my dears, would be this one. Look at that, no doubt. And? So it's completely surrounded. It's completely surrounded. Oh. And another way we can validate that this is the right tree is a certain viewpoint of it from directly behind mile marker number 17. Let's go look. Directly behind mile marker 17, there are two trees. And the Methuselah tree is the more humble tree on the left-hand side. And I have a picture of that tree from his YouTube channel. Da, 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 da. Right here. The Methuselah tree. It is over Methuselah. 5,000 years old. You have chosen wisely. That is Methuselah right there with its roots completely surrounded, being protected. Wow. That tree is the oldest living thing on the planet. We just gave like a pretty easily detailed description. We're sharing the information we did from digging in a bunch of different sources, all that are on the internet already. Yeah, We're not telling true. anybody anything that's not already out there. True. We just did the work of piecing it together for you. That is true. I'm standing next to the oldest organism on the planet. Wow. Look at this thing. Good job, baby. High five. Good job. Boom. And we didn't choose poorly. We chose wisely. Now it's time to get on out of here. It's cold. It's getting dark. This was a blast. We hope you had an enjoyable time with us and learned some things like we learned along yeah, the way. Absolutely. We've had an awesome adventure. Now awesome. it's time for you to go create your own adventure. Peace. I can't wait to feel like Indiana Jones, like looking for clues and like running from boulders and hiding from mummies and all that stuff. Yeah. Mummies, I don't know. You. And you are not Methuselah, imposter. None of y'all. Well, thank you. Go. So close to the Inyo National Forest. We are so close to being Inyo National Forest. Ooh. That bug's so close to being in my nose. See, that doesn't even look like Methuselah. No. See, they be messing with you. I know, they're tricky. I gotta pay attention, I can't bang my head too much. Yeah. So I've, 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 <laughs> I've, 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 In the vampire apocalypse, I wanna be in this forest. Right, I can see why. I would throw all of them on a spike. A scenic point or a scenic view and we can see why. <laughs> Makes fun of me for saying that too much. <laughs> Maybe two thirds of the way to Methuselah, the ancient bristlecone pine. And we're gonna keep going, see if we can find her or him. In this day and age, I don't know what she or he wants to be called. Yeah. Them. We're gonna go find them. Is that good? Yeah, I thought you were about to walk and you stopped. <laughs> Onward!